right, I thought we'd have a look at the uh, Renergy battery I've just brought. I've just bought two of these. Uh, main reason is I want to run them in series. So these are, if you see there, 25.6 volts, 100 amp hours. So I want to run them in series to make basically uh, what will be classed as a 48 volt battery, but it will be uh, 25.6 times two. So yeah, the idea is uh, previously I've brought cheap Chinese batteries. Um, I've also made my own lithium uh, L Life Po4 battery. I made my own one before using cells with a BMS and an active balancer, which is affordable, but um, it's also quite a bit of work and it's quite nice just to get a <laughs> unit that has everything in it. There's the specs of the battery. Um, 100 amp hours rated energy basically 2.5 kilowatts so two of these will give me five kilowatts of storage maximum charge current 100 amps maximum discharge 100 amps and it'll do a surge 300 and as you can see operating temperature is minus 20 to minus uh, sorry minus 20 to 50 celsius so this has got um really good eve cells in it um there's a few videos where you see people undoing these um screws and taking it all apart and they're top quality cells as you can see top grade uh, 50 000 cycles 10 years so the main reason i've opted for this over making my own one is i managed to get these on a black friday deal uh basically the two of them cost just over a thousand uk pounds delivered with a discount code so it's a thousand pound for five kilowatts of storage you know you could have in theory four grand's worth of these and you'd have a 20 kilowatt battery you know which is pretty massive but that would give you you know a decent amount of storage the other major plus point for me is i'll show you in a minute my other battery systems but basically uh, when these batteries are cold they don't like being charged and it will damage the battery if you do try and charge it um, not that i charge with a lot of current but you can still damage the battery so if you look it does say the minus 20. so basically they have a heated element inside the battery that will uh, come on when it gets to freezing temperatures to keep the battery warm Previously, what I've had to do on my other batteries is rig up a, it's basically a, a plant heater, like they're 25, 30 watts on a smart plug. And I've put them underneath the battery and then they come on about two or three hours before the battery's gonna charge, just to warm it up a bit, stop it from being freezing. It works, but it's, um, it's another thing you've got to buy. Another thing that could go wrong uh, with these literally all I've got to do is connect the battery terminals so yeah they're, they're you know it's, it's pretty idiot proof really um, terminals are really decent they're I think they're M8s pretty sure they're M8s I bought some M8 crimps uh, as you can see they're pretty bulky uh, I've ran it in series this battery's already been connected up um, it's on a 60 amp breaker for, for myself i know it's rated to 100 but i'm never going to pull that amount of power not in its current configuration anyway so my current system is the two of these in series a unknown quality chinese battery that i brought uh at the end of last year uh which claims to be 120 amp hours at 48 volts but uh, that, I mean that would say it's six kilowatts. So I'm going to downrate it pretty massively to maybe three and a half, four kilowatts in storage. And then on top of that, you've got um, my sixteen Eve cells on top of each other, uh, or in, sorry, in series that give you forty-eight volts, um, and they're two hundred and eighty amp hours. So that's like the backbone of the system. And I figured this is the same chemistry, so why not? get some of the get two of these and just boost the system up a bit more i mean in terms of quality of the battery it is a big case you do feel quite hollow in there 
so maybe they could have made it smaller but then at the same time saved costs by having like a universal um case design you know if it's universal then uh, it saves on their cost on it the handles uh they're pretty i mean they're all right they're nothing um amazing i moved, managed to move it all right i think the battery weighs just over 20 kilos which is actually quite easy to manage um my other one the chinese one i got is about 39 kilos it has got metal handles but it is difficult to move main reason for me choosing this was just uh, uh renergy generally have a pretty good review i know um all companies get their own you know can get negative feedback and people can say oh this is wrong with them that's wrong with them but in terms of me ordering off of aliexpress if anything is wrong you've got no comeback i've previously ordered some eve cells from aliexpress they're supposed to be 280 amp hours and they were way down like maybe 150 amp hours and it unbalanced the entire battery um at least with this i know the cells are going to be reasonably decent i'm not going to run them incredibly hard i'd imagine i'll get way over 10 years worth because my cycle is generally at most 50 percent discharge during the day um so yeah i i really i really rate these if you was having a a motor home or something like that um two of these for a grand you've got five kilowatts of storage i think that's a pretty decent you know result and, and they're not like i said everything's done the bms is in it the heater's in it you literally connect it up make sure your charge is to the right specification and it'll work so yeah i'm really impressed with them delivery time for energy uk i ordered on i think it was saturday and they were delivered on tuesday or wednesday i think it's probably tuesday yeah so delivered by dpd came within two or three days uh, the tracking information was a bit um strange like the online tracking didn't really work but the text message i got saying that it was out for delivery did work so yeah i don't know what that was all about but ultimately they got delivered as they should do and uh yeah they're a good piece of kit i'm actually considering next year maybe another black friday if they do something similar to this again i'll get another two um that in theory pushes my storage up to 27 kilowatts which is way over the top for what i need but um i'm also thinking more storage you got less less um daily discharge so the batteries last longer so in theory you're just making it more resilient and i'm also thinking of moving a lot of my heating over to infrared panels or you know just heating rooms that we actually use because you're heating the whole house why not just heat the rooms you use might save you money and plus this will be these batteries to be charged during the cheap seven and a half p ev tariff i've got and then they'll discharge during the um 31p a kilowatt uh daytime charge so you, these are saving me big money on my electricity bill so yeah really recommend this for solar storage obviously make sure they're compatible if you had different types of battery chemistry then you could run into problems but i read the spec sheets for this there are identical charging voltages, things like that, to the equipment that I've got. So I'm fine to just run this as a 48 volt in parallel um, with the rest, like in parallel with the rest of my batteries. So yeah, all spot on, really good. This is my first Renergy product, product I brought. Generally, they've been really expensive, but I found a good online discount code, um, managed to order it, no issues, and uh, it's doing the job. What I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll show a video of it connected up and uh, you can see my setup quickly. It's not tidy, I'm not going to lie. It needs to be uh, tidied up and put in an enclosure, but it works for now and it's saving me money. So this is the uh, batteries in situ. Excuse the wire and needs tidying up. It comes with some decent rubber covers, you can see there. As you can see, I've got them in series, that link. Uh, this cable is all 16mm 105 amp rated battery cable 
so yeah it would get pretty hot at 100 amps but um i'm never going to run it that high this was the chinese battery i was talking about previously it's got a nice fancy screen on it but in reality how much power has it got and you can see that's one of the heated mats i've put underneath the battery to um, keep it warm i have that all controlled by these smart plugs you can see down here they control all of that the breaker panels for the batteries are all there and this is the new one which is on a 60 amp breaker so it'll trip long before the um, battery ever had a chance to melt the cables i know it's a mess look, look at that for a mess buzz bars victron shunt um, i want to put it all in an enclosure but at the same time it does feel a bit like if you don't have the batteries connected up then you're sort of wasting money you can see my inverter there and my grid tire limiter just there so yeah that's how it's going to run all winter then in the summer i will look at what i'm going to do but like i said two of these on the shelf easy for me to store um they'll just sit there forever if i wanted i'd put another get rid of this put another two there then you've got 10 kilowatts in total it's uh it's very good it's um it's, it's a good way to build a quite a powerful battery bank and quite easily you know you haven't really got much to think about this has got everything you need inside it so i hope you found this video useful especially if you're looking at buying one of these renergy batteries uh they're well worth the uh the effort of looking into the main the main thing for me is with it being a uk seller i haven't got to worry you know if, if this goes wrong i can get it sorted the same as when i had this imported from china i paid a load of import tax on it from aliexpress so although it was 700 pound add another 150 quid you're at 850 quid for a battery of dubious capacity or a thousand pound for these delivered to your door in the uk and again you can see uh, it's hard to see down there amongst all that wiring balance leads bms there there's 16 eve 280 amp hour cells with the heaters around them so yeah very good i definitely recommend looking into it if you're looking for a decent battery that you can get hold of in the uk